Can you believe it's finally happening? The first beta release of Steam's native Linux client has been made available to a limited number of testers. At first glance, you won't find a lot of difference between the Linux version and the Mac and Windows ones, and that's a good thing. Not only will this be good news to long-time Steam users, there's also a dedicated Linux section with updates, news, and developments during this beta cycle. And for when you're feeling sociable, you'll find community features baked right in. But of course, the whole point of the client isn't to witter away with your mates, it is to play games. As this is a limited beta, the number of Linux games on offer is comparatively small. And with the candidate itself being in beta, there are bugs and kinks, so I'm going to hold off giving a technical critique. But from the short time I've spent playing the handful of games I own that are already supporting Linux, the performance has suitably impressed me. There's even a beta within a beta. Steam's big picture mode, designed for use on TVs and with controllers, also makes its debut on Linux. Again, it is a beta, so I won't be overly critical of how well it runs just yet, but there are a whole wealth of features that are fantastic, including the ability to browse new games, browse games you've got, see your achievements, your playtimes, interact with the community, and even browse the web. <laughs>